Question number six has this arrangement. The arrangement has been explained here in these four lines. Please read them. Pause the video, read them, and we'll start. Okay, so they are saying that this is a ring whose mass is 0 0.6 kg. That means the force downwards from it will be 6 newton, which is the weight of ring. Similarly, the bead is the mass is 0 0.4 kg, so the mass, the weight of this one will be 4 newtons. All right. Because of this, there will be some tension in this string. Okay. And uh, if I divide that into components, so let's say, okay, let me divide this into two parts. For that, we will need some. Uh, angle so let's divide this into equal parts like this okay very thin line like this okay now these two sides are equal that means this is isosceles triangle that means whatever triangle i have got this side is 40 this side is 50 so i can find this by pythagorean theorem so let me use pythagorean theorem 40 square let's let me call this h plus h square equal to 50 square so h square equal to 50 square minus 40 square h equal to square root 50 square minus 40 square and that comes out to be 30 centimeter so this height is 30 centimeters this will be useful okay so this tension has a component in this this direction which will be T, let's say this is theta, okay? So theta is there, so this will be T cos theta. This will be T sin theta. Similarly, this string will also have a tension. So this way it will be T sin theta again, and that makes perfect sense that T sin theta and T sin theta are equal, and that's why it is in an equilibrium, that's what it is saying. All right, but it will become two t cos theta towards up. Why? Because the component of this t, this tension will also be upwards. So it will become 2t cos theta. And since this is an equilibrium, this 2t cos theta will be same as 6 newton, which is downwards at this particular position. That will be the situation and we can find it now. So T will be 6 over 2 cos theta. We cross multiply cos theta and 2 will divide to the other side. Now cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and we know adjacent over adjacent of this angle is 30 centimeter and hypotenuse is 50 centimeters. So 30 over 50 that will be cos theta. So let's write here 6 2 times 30 over 50, right? And that is 60 over 50. If I put this in my calculator, I get T equal to 5 Newton. So now we know tension. Second part, they're saying find the frictional and normal component of contact force between acting on B, this part, okay? So now for that, what should we do? We should see that there is R, normal contact force upwards. This is T, so it will have a component this way. And if this is theta, please be careful. Huh? This is theta, so this will also be theta. They are alternate angles between parallel lines, parallel vertical lines. This is the alternate angle. So this will be T cos theta. Yeah. So now we can use vertical component and we can find normal contact force. So reaction is on upper upside, but four newtons and T cos theta downwards. All right, R we want to find out, four plus T we know now is five newton cos theta, we know 30 or 50, yeah. So that comes out to be zero, zero cancel, five, five cancel, four plus three, seven newtons. That is the normal contact force. They are also asking the frictional force. So, for frictional force, we should know that the T will also have a component in this direction, which will be T sine theta. And the friction 
is in this direction that will try to stop it and they are equilibrium they are in equilibrium so t cos t sin theta will be same as frictional force so let me write that one t sin theta is same as friction so t is 5 sin theta will be opposite over hypotenuse so opposite is how much 40 over 50 okay so opposite over hypotenuse this cancel this cancel that comes out to be 4 newton okay third part given that the equilibrium is limiting okay just trying to uh, stop it find the coefficient of friction between bead and the rod okay so we know the friction is mu r which has got friction is 4 mu is unknown r we got earlier 7 newtons so that gives us mu equal to 4 over 7 or we can come convert it to decimal if you want 0.5 7, 1. That is the coefficient of friction.